Have you ever felt like God is repeatedly using situations you encounter to hone a skill in you? I don't mean that God causes situations so he can teach you about something, but rather that he uses situations that you find yourself in, probably due to choices made of your own free will. I have noticed this pattern in my life in the last year or so. I have found myself in several situations that evoke similar reactions in me. I've noticed that when I am in a situation involving conflict, especially when I feel like it involves some sort of injustice, I have a very hard time letting it go. It can consume a lot of my time by thinking about what I should do, what I should say, who I should say it to, and how I can bring some resolution to the situation. What I have been coming to realize lately is that oftentimes I do not need to be the great solver of all injustices. Also, and perhaps more importantly, what I perceive as injustices when I am so in the middle of them that I can hardly see out are really not such great injustices compared to what others face in the world every day. The people involved in the conflicts I encounter are good people who are also trying to make the best choices and decisions possible. No one likes conflict, but when we are all trying to figure out how to live our authentic lives, they are bound to conflict with someone else's somewhere along the way. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 21 says, Submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. The Apostle Paul says this at the beginning of a section about relationships between husbands and wives, parents and children, and management and labor. In the situations I found myself in recently, I have felt some immediate sense that I need to do something about it, that I have a moral obligation to explain to those involved exactly how what they have done has affected me or others involved. I feel like if I don't do or say something about it, it is a moral failure or I am weak. However, what this verse in Ephesians is saying to me lately is that sometimes it is not just okay but necessary to put your feelings aside and submit to someone else out of reverence for Christ. Situations that I selfishly thought I needed to fix somehow seem to resolve themselves if I will just take a step back. Also, once I am able to take a step back and remove myself from the conflict a bit, my perspective shifts and I can see that it's really not a, as big of a deal as I thought it was. Of course, this doesn't apply to everything across the board. There are, are injustices that happen that should not be tolerated. However, lately, it seems the world has become so reactive and quick to judge that the things we really should be standing up for have become watered down by the overreactions to so many things that should just be let go. I know it becomes very difficult for me to see what is truly important when I allow my emotions to react quickly and become mired in a situation so that it consumes too much of my thoughts instead of thinking things through. I find it helpful to remind myself that in every relationship I have on earth, another is present. If I believe the Holy Spirit is living in me, then the Holy Spirit is also present in every relationship and interaction I have in my life. If I am only insisting on my own rights and others are only insisting on their own rights, we will become obstacles to each other. However, if we can find a way to submit to one another out of reverence for Jesus Christ, then we have a shot at finding common ground and actually being the hands and feet of Christ on earth. I'd like to end with a verse that has really resonated with me lately, although I can't pretend I've mastered its instructions. Philippians chapter two, verses three and four says, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others.